So let's just jump into it. So let's uh, let's steal a logo. All right, let's steal a logo from a good-hearted company that's not likely to sue me. Shell, perfect. Okay. So if we're gonna say, uh, well, we can copy it. We'll just copy that. And the way I'm gonna do this is come right into Photoshop. Go new. It should remember your uh, the dimensions that you put in the clipboard. And we're just gonna call this shell logo PNG. And on transparent, okay. And then Command V or Control V or whatever you want to do on a PC. Grab that once. Get rid of that white stuff so that we have some transparency. And now we're just going to go ahead and save this as a PNG on the desktop. Uh, compression? Are you crazy? All right. Now we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You know, I should... I wish there were, I wish I could see you never do this again to me thing. Huh, there it is. Oh, you guys are witnessing history, guys. There we go. Okay. So what you're going to want is this image trace window right here. Uh, oh, that's Photoshop again. Let's go file, open. And we put that thing on the desktop, shell logo, PNG, just find whatever you called yours. And what I like to do in Illustrator right off the bat is go view, show transparency grid. So you can see that we have transparency because that sometimes when you bring things from Illustrator to After Effects, you don't realize that you didn't have transparency in a little spot that was the same color as your artboard. So that can suck. All right, so now let's go ahead and image trace this. I want it in color, and I want two colors, because you can see there's two. If you're doing this with a more complex image, obviously you can do it with more colors. But uh, there is a limit, and you'll find out what that limit is. If you do it too complex and then bring it into After Effects, it'll say something like, you have a triangle that's too small, and it just won't work. So. Try to keep the logos a little bit simple, but you know, I've definitely done this before with like 30 colors. All right, so we'll just trace that. I'll skip ahead this progressy part. Gotta cluster the pixels. What? I uh, don't see. You may have to add a couple go a little higher on here. See, it should have obviously been two, but apparently not. Apparently it went and grabbed this white background for the second color, so there was three. All right, so we're going to grab this white direct selection tool and grab this... Oh, first we're going to expand. There. Now click off so that you don't have anything selected. Use your uh, direct selection tool to get rid of that white stuff. We don't want that. So that's why it's important to have your transparency grid because sometimes when you're doing image tracing, uh, transparency you can, can be lost. All right, so now what we want to do, and you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this just because uh, it's pretty, this is kind of a cool part of the tutorial. I'm going to make a, a new layer, then I'm going to grab my direct selection tool. And I'm going to extrude the yellow. In, in After Effects, I'm going to extrude the yellow uh, or the red more, more than the other. So I think the yellow would be kind of cool to extrude. So 
go Command C, then Delete, then come up, select your next layer, and Command V. So you're putting that in another layer. And then you can kind of use your arrow keys to get it right into place. I'm sure there's an option for like paste on place or something like that, but I just didn't bother to look it up yet. All right. And also when you bring it into After Effects, it kind of shifts on you anyway for some reason. So anyway, there we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to save this as an AI. And we'll go, yeah, show. We'll just call that Shell Logo AI and save. And it should all look like this, I guess. OK. And then we're going to go into After Effects. Yeah, just agree with it. New composition, 1920 by 1080. We'll call this one Shell Logo. Sure. Ray Trace, blah, blah, blah. That's important. Okay. Uh, now, the first thing that we're going to do is double click or however, Command I, however you want to import files. And we're going to go and get that Shell Logo AI file. And when this, yours might say footage, you want that to say composition. And um, I'm saying layer size, but you can play with that if you want. I've always said layer size. All right, so now what you want to do is drop down. you got a folder here that shows your layers from Illustrator. Just go and drop that down and grab them and drag them into your timeline area. So now, sweet, we have this shell logo in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make it so that I'm working in 3D space with both of them. And if I start beat, this is kind of a, a taxing thing. So if I start beach balling too hard, I'll just fast forward that through in the tutorial. Once you've got those 3D boxes checked, then you're going to want to go up here and see how my renderer says ray traced. Yours might say classic 3D. If it does say classic 3D, click on it and you'll see this dialog. Yours will be at that. Change it to that. Cool? All right. Glad we had that talk. Okay. Next thing you want to do, right click on your thing, on your uh, layers here and create shapes from vector layer and then you'll get another uh, layer here called the outlines for each layer and these are what you these will now be all that's visible these outlines and that's basically what you want to work with so now you should have certain uh, geometry options for this for the uh, for the two layers of this logo so, <coughs> I can't remember, was layer 2 the yellow or red? We'll find out now. So, go into Geometry Options, and now we can start extruding. So, if we rotate that a little bit on the Y-axis, we should see that it actually does have some depth. It does. Excellent. All right, so let's get that back to zero. But we don't want, let's say we wanted to rotate this, but we wanted them to rotate together, the two layers. So all you're going to have, all you're going to do is just parent the one to the other. We'll go, make sure you're parenting to the outlines layer. So just, I parented layer two to layer one that way. So it's just going to be parenting on movement, so you don't have to worry. And let's put that extrusion at like 20. All right. So now it looks a little bit 3D, but it's still not fully awesome. So let's add a light. 
So to add a light in After Effects, we're going to go Layer, New, Light. And let's make this light like a crazy, like, blue kind of light. Me like that. Spotlight, yep. Okay. And light positioning is fairly awesome. It's really cool and fun, so I'm going to just, just play with it. That's how I learned it, just by kind of playing with it. And I think that looks pretty rad. So I'm going to actually increase the brightness of it, though. Let's crank up the intensity of that sweet blue light. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that is making me want to buy gasoline right now. All right, there. Now that, now we're all good. We're all going around, and there's some 3 d to that logo. So I'm going to go ahead and export this and show you what we've done.